Verse 10. Because you have kept my command to persevere, I also will keep you from the hour of trial. Because you have kept my command to persevere. On earth, we are living, we are living the kingdom of heaven and perseverance. Christians, on earth, you are living the kingdom of heaven with perseverance. When you persevere, all the trials, all the tribulations, all the hardships that, are, that have come and will ever come toward you, when you persevere through all the difficulties throughout your life's journey on earth, in the end, the next life, you will live the kingdom of God and its glory. It's perseverance on earth, but it is glory in heaven. And unless we persevere, we will never be glorified. What is perseverance? Good Friday. What is glory? Sunday resurrection. I cannot expect to be given the glory of the resurrection unless I carry the cross and be crucified with Christ on Good Friday. Without pain, there is no gain. Without perseverance, there is no glory. So on earth, we are living the commandment of Christ and his perseverance. If you love me, carry my cross and follow me. And if you love me, call me. Oh, come on, answer the phone, please. It's Jesus calling. Sorry, Lord, I'm busy. <laughs> uh, talking about you? Okay, thank you, bye. <laughs> It is perseverance. Do I have the time? Do you have the time? Yes. By the way, is it hot? Like temperature wise? Yes. It is? Can we make it a little bit cooler? I know it's my presence. I'm just hot, you know. <laughs> Before, you know, when good old days, I used to say, my name is Bishop Murray. I'm single and available. I'm hot. You're not. <laughs> there you go. Um, there are, this is not our topic, but speaking of perseverance, there are five books. They are all in the Old Testament. They are referred to as the poetic books. They refer to as the poetic books, five books. Book of Job, Book of Psalms, um, Book of Proverbs, uh, Book of uh, Ecclesiastes, and Song of Solomon. Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Songs, or Song of Solomon. These five books are in the Old Testament. They are called the poetic books. If you want to learn how to live a life of perseverance on earth, read the book of Job. The book of Job teaches you on how to persevere in painful situations, in hardships, heartaches. Job had a wife and 10 sons, had wealth, could have, buy, could have bought all of Sydney. He lost it in a blink of an eye. His 10 sons killed and his wealth gone and his health was gone. His body was being eaten by termites and he was still blessing God. You lose 10 kids, all of them, you lose all your wealth, you lose all your health, and you still thank God for it? Now that is called perseverance through difficulties. What have we gone through? What do we know about hardships? What do we know about difficulties? What do we truly know about pain? Have we seen what people have gone through for me to say my situation is the worst in the world? It's not. There are people much worse than you, but they're still grateful to God. You need to learn. Perseverance. When you persevere in difficulties, God, the Lord Jesus, will lift you up to the next step. Book of Psalms. 
What is book of Psalms? Praising God. Psalm is thanking God always. You see, you, we will never, we will never learn to thank God always unless I learn how to persevere through my dark tunnels that come my way. When I go through hardships and I hang in there trusting in the Lord, this will teach me and will lift and build and raise in me and give birth something new to me called thanking God always, praising the Lord is the book of Psalms. And when you learn to praise the Lord always, always, good times and bad times, this is marriage. The Lord is the groom, the church, us, the Christian, baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We are the bride to this groom. When we learn to thank the Lord Jesus in good times and bad times, he will take me up to the next level and he will bring me into the book of Proverbs wisdom. Perseverance gives you thanking, a life of thankfulness. A life of thankfulness gives you wisdom. Wisdom brings you into Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes is the book of repentance, how to live a life of repentance on earth from birth to grave. How do I live a life of repentance? I need to be a repentant soul always. This will never happen unless God makes me wise. I will never learn, will never know how to ask for forgiveness if God does not give me his wisdom. And when I become wise, then I live repentance, Ecclesiastes, he will bring me into the final frontier, the song of Solomon. He will bring me into his divine love. And I'll be called John the Beloved. John the Beloved laid his head on the chest, on the breast of Christ. I'm sure he heard his heartbeats. John, what was going through your head? through your heart when you were hearing the heartbeats of Jesus. He says this language is the language of love. When it is the language of love, the intellect, the tongue ceases. It's a different level. That is speaking in tongues, not gibberish. Speaking in tongues is the language of love. The language of love, when you speak it, everybody understands it. It's not hidden, it's not secret.